for the Wildcats. Stopped behind his goaltender, Dupre. 12.41 remaining. On the wing, there's a long right wing pass there, but picked off by the Sea Dogs. Kyle Ward, there's a shot. Blocker saved by Dupre. Ward with the rebound, trying to find the open net. Dupre getting over there to make the save on the Sackville native Kyle Ward. Dangerous there, Dupre, two great saves. Yep, two great saves. Uh, the Sea Dogs were in front of the net, but our defenseman, you know, pushing hard. And Steve Starzumski, face off to Dupre's left in the Moncton zone. Adam Holwell to Jacob Sweeney. On the wing, too far for Eric Leger. Hammered back in at the points, but his shot was blocked, and the Wildcats will dump it out to center ice. He was poked, checked nicely by Leger, coming in on the wing. There's a shot, big save, the rebound. Two saves by Turcotte. Leger stealing it from Zbodil at center ice. And McEwen, Zach McEwen getting the rebound. Two big saves by Turcotte, the 20-year-old. Yeah, that was really close. Zach McEwen along the wall, fighting with two Sea Dogs now. Thrown, chipped back to the point by Askew. Sweeney's out there, it's Connor Garland at the blue line. Garland back to Sweeney, there's the shot, they score! Jacob Sweeney, one-timing a slap shot from the dot. It's great, Connor Garland got back onto a fenceman. He stayed back there and then he ended up passing the puck and then a one-timer in the net, it was a beautiful goal. Thomas Shabbat will look around, he decides to do the high flip to center ice, the Wildcats take over in their own zone. Off the boards to Kelly Klima. Number six picks up the puck. He'll simply throw it in from center ice. Rolling to Turcotte. He'll leave it for Shabbat behind the net. Five minutes remaining in the first. Again, Moncton up 1-0. Del Paggio chips it through center. Spencer Smallman coming in for the Sea Dogs. There's a shot. Blocker saved by Dupre in the rebound. Dupre's got it. Beautiful save. He made it over. He stretched. The Wildcats Five, four, three, two, one. Marty Kingston at the Coliseum, fight breaking out at the Wildcats bench between Will Smith and number 10 is matchup Nathan Noel right in front of the Moncton bench. Smith and Noel going at it pretty good. Noel trying to get a couple of rights in there, but they're not landing. That was all during the commercial break. There was a penalty call on the play. I think the St. John getting a penalty. Wildcats lead 1-0, folks. If you're tuning in, Connor Garland and Cam Askew setting up big Jacob Sweeney on the power play with his first of the year. Nice slap. Five minutes for fighting. St. Peter percent for about two. For the Wildcats, number 10, Will Smith. Two minutes for instigating. Smith getting the instigating, Noel getting the boarding, plus the fighting major, so it's all even out there. Moncton leading at 1 0 with 3.55 remaining in the third. There's a long slap shot there, blocked the rebound, they score! A long slap shot from outside the blue line. The rebound, the first man on the scene was St. John's number 14, the Russian Povarozdiuk. St. John chips it up on the glass, out to center ice and down the ice. Wildcats going right to left for our listeners here in your mind's eye. Zach Malatesta, long pass there to the St. John blue line, picked up. Steven Johnson picks up a loose puck, cutting in on the backhand. A pass to the front of the net. Nice play by Thomas Shabbat to knock that pass down. Continuous action here, 17.50 remaining. There's a play in front for the Sea Dogs, a shot. Dupre, a huge save. The rebound's loose. Max Glassell clears it away. Dupre again, a big save. Five on three, Wildcats power play. It's a 1-1 tie. Face off in the St. John zone. Moncton gets the draw. Back to the point, Connor Garland. Garland slides it back to Adam Holwell, back to Garland. Two Moncton players in front of the St. John net. Back to Connor Garland at the point. Garland throws it in front, tipped in front, loose a rebound, batted in. Turcotte down on his back and he's got it somewhere in there. St. John up two to one with two minutes to go in the second period, 45 seconds left in the power play. At the side of the Moncton net, it's centered. In from the point, there's a shot deflected wide. Moncton again defending very well. Slip back to the point, Thomas Shabbat letting one go. Pat saved by Dupre, the backhand shot, a big save by the Moncton goaltender. Down he goes on his stomach. He got the first shot and the rebound. Sebastian Dupre. Another per blue line chips it in. And the Sea Dogs take over behind their own net. Number 22, that's Adam Bateman. Still with the puck. Third period's just underway. At the blue line there, Connor Garland walks into a puss, heading right to the net. Garland scores out of nowhere! Where did he come from? I don't know, he just appeared! 
Garland picks up a pass across the blue line and just flew into the St. John zone, splitting the defense and puts a beautiful backhander by Turcott. Gates into a pass and went straight ahead, went through everyone. Yeah. Straight line. Yeah, there's no catching up, that's for sure. And on the veto score and save, every Wildcats goal, you're up to 10% now off tomorrow's takeout menu order. Pick up only at Vito's, your password, Howell. And number 21, Manuel Wiedewer. Time, 28 seconds, Avenger Segal. Gun attack, that early goal. Face off in the St. John zone to the left of Mark Antoine Turcott. Even just watching the replay on the screen, he literally did come out of nowhere. Well, it's either off the bench or from the dressing room, but what a goal by Connor Garland. Tying things up here, 1905 remaining third period. There's a long lead pass through the middle and a breakaway. The Sea Dogs cutting in, and it's off the side of the net. Dupre on a save there. The Russian Tovanozniuk flying in there. It made them. 2-2. It's a battle out there. The Sea Dogs couldn't keep it in at the Moncton Blue Lines. Boril, the Czech defenseman, Detroit property, will throw it in. Side of zone, zone. Heavy forecheck there by the Wildcats. Number 19, Cam Askew. Garland, Weeder, Askew right back out there. It's lost in front. Weeder in front to Askew! A big save by Turcott. Weeder is setting up Askew in front of the net all by himself. And a big there by Matthew Joseph. Joseph lost his stick. That's a plus there. Garland in behind the net. Garland still with it. There's a shot in front. Askew with the open net. They score! Manny Wiederer on the power play. Wow. Garland doing all the work there. Askew with a great save. Turcott rather, and the open net. Manny Wiederer power play goal, Moncton. That was a beautiful goal. Lots of work on Moncton Wildcats, and they were pushing that shift. And uh, it was a bound to happen. Loose puck bound to happen. Zone. Gathered up by Will Smith. He'll fire a high one in and head for the bench. 3 2 Wildcats with 9.25 remaining. Third period. Will Bauer, along with his men, forcing a turnover in front to Garland. He was wide open, but the Sea Dogs picked off that pass. Uh, on the wing, there's a play to the net. They score! On a quick, quick shot in traffic. Surprising everybody, including Dupre. Faster McEwen surprise cutting well. in. Number 11, the shot. Shoulder save by Turcott. McEwen had a couple of Sea Dogs on his tail. Had to shoot quickly. McEwen back in the corner to Liam Murphy. Liam Murphy trying to get the wraparound. It comes along the boards. Kept in by McEwen. Inside the St. John blue line. Matt Highmore busts away. It's a two-on-one with Nathan Noel. Highmore takes the pass. Moving in. What a save by Dupre and Matt Highmore. Two on one, St. John. Highmore. Three. And he has the most points for his team with 14 this season. It's Garland, Wiederer, and Jacob Sweeney, folks. Three on three overtime. Five minuter. In from the faceoff. St. John player ends up in the net. So there's what I mean. Garland's going to break back. It's a three on two if Sweeney joins the rush. Overtime here at the Coliseum. There's a shot by Garland. They score. Garland on the off wing. Top the shelf. Top shelf. And a harmless looking wrist shot, but it was where it was shot. And, and only 18 seconds in, the defending league MVP and scoring champion, Connor Garland, gives the Wildcats the win by a score of four to three. Connor Garland, that is his 10th goal of the year. Oh my dear. The Coliseum is on their feet. Turcotte did not have a chance to stop that. It was just perfect.